Alright, how about the Jian Bing National Wildlife Refuge? It's pretty cool. You got a, it's a four mile road one way and you can park anywhere on the side and go explore. It's only five dollars to get in. That's good all day. 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm just I just hopped out. This is the first little area to see if I can see anything. There's a blue herring out there, really far away. Pretty, pretty place. We got lots of birds. There's two little black birds. Not sure what they are. And a bunch of white pelicans. And the little, little bird off to the side. Very, very peaceful area. So yeah, this, it's nice. You can just pretty much park. You just park over here and walk wherever. I'm, I'm back a little ways. Figured I'd go explore on foot. Easier to spot things. I see a lot of bugs going around too. Those look like wasps. Might need to throw the macro lens on. All right, here we got the mangrove overlook. Little, little bridge overlooking the lake. Fun, fun. I like the shade, shade feels nice. See if we can see anything. There's lots of birds out in the distance. Ooh, what the heck is that? So here's like the cutest thing ever. This is a a tiny little crab I found running around. And I picked him up, and he's cute. He's got little little teeny claws. Oh, oh look at that. He's here's my finger. There we go. Yeah. He's, yeah, that's so cute. Hey, little buddy. Oh, boy. I'm gonna go put him back. All right, I'm gonna have a really hard time uh, trumping that crab. That crab is so cute. Here we got another another pull off. Nothing exciting here. Got some minnows. Minnows in the water. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nope, not really. Oh well. This is a two-mile trail that I um, saw on the side of the road. Figured I'd walk it a little bit, see what there is. Uh, this looks like the, the biker-hiker entrance to the trail. And the road keeps carrying on for another six miles. Yeah, a lot of... A lot of growth. Can't really see the river. There's a river along the side. Or a stream or swamp bog, I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Little pond. Nice and nice and hot and toasty. Oh yeah, no, this this is more like it. This is a jungly beach trail. We got we got sand. Palm trees, sunshine. Well, the clouds. Clouds are blocking the sunshine a little, which is good because it feels way, way nicer. This is great. I love stuff like this. Little, little hidden trail. It was the opposite direction of the sign for the trail you're supposed to walk on. Ha. Neat. 
a little bit. Ooh, a tower! I like towers. I don't know why. It's like I was wanting a tree house when I was a kid. Something about towers, I like them. This is cool. Here's the first level, and it's got the uh, birds of the refuge. So, um, if you look over there, there's a ton. I was over taking some pictures of them. Some big pelicans. So, yeah, we got blue herons, great egret, reddish egret, white ibis, snow egret. This is good. Just nice and slow. Oh, and hingas. Oh, that's funny. And hinga trail at the Everglades. So these are those wing dryers. Willet, sandpiper, plovers. Oh, I love the plovers. Red breasted. Kingfisher. Haven't seen one of them yet. We got the red shouldered hawk, American white pelican, bro. Yeah, cool. So what's the best nice. Low and here is the top of the lookout. Really fun. <laughs> nice view. Oh, look at that. Woo. Pretty. I think I better go get my wide angle and come on back up here. <laughs> so, so far here in Florida, it's, I've been like changing my lenses like crazy. It's, um, you know, I use this a lot with and without the extender. And then I use my super wide angle. And then I started using my 24 to 70 as well. And then I always have my macro somewhere and I jump between the MPE and the hundreds so just a lot of diverse stuff so I gotta swap lenses all the time for different things which is fun different I really have to clean my camera now and here we got another trail the Wuffet I guess the Wuffet had a funny name it's like Wuffet Wuffet Trail 0.25 miles. A little, little road with a little stream on the side. Looks like another lake at the end. Not sure if there'll be anything interesting there, but I'll find out. There we got nothing. This water. Lots and lots of water. It's high tide, so there's a gal at the tower and she was saying that uh, during high tide, the birds are sleeping or preening or out away. There's one just way. Let's see that little white speck. There's a bird. <laughs> so I put my uh, monopod on and it, it's like I got like Thor's hammer. That's what it feels like. Big hammer. Whipping around. Yeah. Power lens. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. <laughs> Mew near. The camera the hammer. Here we got another trail. Little bridge loop thingy. I saw a white ibis. Those are goofy birds. Very, very common all throughout Florida. Almost like a, kind of like a pigeon in a city. <laughs> They're everywhere. And the ones in the, in the parks and the zoos, they love French fries. Those people feed them to them even though they're not supposed to. Yeah, it's a nice little, little loopy road. Alright, so there was the Jayden Ding uh, Wildlife Refuge. It was a fun, fun little place to check out. I really liked it. Um, nice four mile road to go drive on, and then you could stop wherever you wanted. You could get out, you could walk the whole, you could park right at the beginning and walk the whole four miles if you wanted. Um, 
Fun's a little trails, but I liked it. Uh, best time to go is early in the morning or in the evening. It's open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. and you can you can keep going through all day if you want uh, with your one ticket. So yeah, definitely check it out during the low tide. That's when all the birds eat. That's uh, that's when you can see all the different birds. But that's that's all for this. Woo.